Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the GameStar Spring Series. Overwatch Division 2 being sponsored by Zowie. We are moving on to Dorado now for our fourth round of the Swiss format. And taking you through this next game will be Xenox and Gino. Thank you, EJ. So we are into the fourth round now. It's been a wild night. And speaking of wild things, Gino, we have the Wild Ones versus Squid Pro Quo. Both teams are one and two. What uh, possibly do you expect out of this game? Yeah, so I haven't seen uh, either of these teams before. I'm not sure many people have. I think you might have, Xenox. Uh, I hear Squid Pro Quo is uh, one of your boys in uh, Will Pullians, in the Will Pullians community. Is that the... I think uh, I have seen USMC when we did that cast together uh, on the Sunday night. I remember casting him and he is a very sharp McCree. Yeah, he is actually. Yeah, so a couple of the uh, Whirlpoolians there making a team, which is really nice to see. And this is what Division 2 is all about, as well as having those sort of top teams. It's the fact that it's open. You can have uh, these communities make some teams come in, have fun, and that's what it's all about. Um, the Wild Ones uh, are a new team as well that um, I haven't personally seen. So it should be a really interesting game, Genome. Um, if we have a look at maybe some of the other with some of the other games uh, with EJ as well. Spicy Boys DX versus the Gods. Slushy Machine will be playing Curators of the Museum. Uh, obviously, we have Squid Pro Quo versus Wild Ones. Wombology versus Even. Simple Optometry versus Avant Guard. That should be an interesting uh, matchup. Team Solo Alt versus Trano Training Bots. And Running with Scissors versus Two Minutes One Noodle. Uh, Gino, we're finally into Dorado. And. Uh, should be a close one. Yeah, both teams sitting on one and two on the Zowie leaderboard at the moment. Um, let's have a look and see what these uh, teams pick. Symmetra, well, mm. <laughs> is it a troll? <laughs> we have seen the, the best team in the world, MBS, occasionally uses Symmetra on this point. Uh, it's sort of fallen out of favor coming into this new tank focus meta. Um, Snabuka? No, no, he's going for the Zaya. All right, why don't you take us through the defensive lineup here, Zenos? Yeah, we have this though on the Lucio. They were doing a little bit of trolling, quite obviously, as uh, USMC on that McCree, as you pointed out, very sharp on his McCree. Cobble Guy, a very good Brian Hart player, and Swift Willy will be playing the Mercy Killer Kid on May, and Snabuka will be playing the Zaya, one of the uh, top Zayas that I know of. 30 seconds to prepare your defenses, and uh, well, will we see Milo Gaming on that uh, Bastion genome as he takes us through the attacking team? And of course, if they don't <laughs> as change, he off the as he switches just off, just as you say it, just a, <laughs> oh, good, well, well played, Milo. Um, the interesting thing for me is, will Squid Pro Quo hold up the top here? Uh, we definitely see that fall out of favor, and I, I think it's for good reason. If any one of your characters get picked off when you're up the top here, it is game over. You are dunzos. Um, and at the same time, it's very hard to get any picks. Unless they've got a fair or someone pushing out. It's it's really hard to do much damage up the top here. Um, good maybe to get your Zaya some charge. But other than that, uh, what do you think about this top hole, Dinox? Yeah, it's obviously a very interesting decision. I think you see it more at the lower levels, not to be disrespectful. Um, but the, the top teams have definitely changed up the strategy for this one. Uh, we didn't actually go through the, the uh, teams, uh, sorry, the, the players of the Wild Ones. I'll quickly go over it as quick as I can. Misanthrope on the Lucio, uh, Talam on the Genji, It's Hex on Zaya as USMC finishes off Shade already and the Maywall comes out. Uh, Javen on the Zenyatta, Shade on that Reaper and Milo Gaming on the Reinhardt who did troll me, who looked like he might have gone the uh, Bastion on the payload sort of deal as the Buka goes down that Talam. Uh, this is generally genome where you want to stop the payload on Dorado and it looks like uh, Squid Pro Quo have got this uh, in a nice spot. It is, it's quite a scattered hold here uh, from the wild ones. Um, and Killer Kid going down just as he uses his Blizzard, that's going to be a complete waste. It does zone them a little bit, uh, but I'm not sure if Biffster and USMC can hold them off by themselves. Snubuka comes in, uh, but the short spawn distances for the attacking team are helping them out here, because they've got four on the card, and they're looking like they might be able to push all the way here. Uh, yeah, already onto the fountain for the Wild Ones as USMC finishes off its X with that.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, just some technical difficulties uh, with Discord, it looks like, so... Charging in will be Milo oh. Squid for it, though, have been able to uh, hold on to this fountain. Yeah, so the Wild Ones almost made it to the end there, uh, but Squid Pro Quo holding strong, and they've got a revive for this next fight. It looks like they're going to have the Earth Shatter as well. Uh, the Wild Ones on the attack, they're going to have a Graviton Surge. Maybe they can wombo that with Shade's Death Blossom, and they've got Javian's uh, Transcendence to keep them alive. Here they go. The main wall goes out. A Graviton Surge comes in. Gets quite a few of them in there, but Snooker and USMC are cleaning up. Shade takes down one with his Death Blossom. Now two. Cobble Guy replies with an Earth Shatter. Swift really reviving his team though. And can they hold on? I don't know, Xenox. Well, they might be able to hold on thanks to this massive mail coming out from Killer Kid. They're getting the kills. What a reply from Swift Willie. He did the smart thing. Waiting around the corner, waiting for some of his teammates to die. And he probably was a bit surprised that they were getting the kills instead. A minute and six seconds to go. This is turning out to be a really good hold when it looked like Wild Ones were just going to push on through, Genon. They're, yeah, they're, they're absolutely... a couple every time, but then they're just not getting... The, the full wipe that's allowing them to push the card all the way. And here they go for another another try. Uh, the, the Transcendence coming out here for the offense. Uh, a Dragon Blade as well, and he takes down USMC, that great McCree that's been doing so much damage for the defending team here. Swift really still healing this Reinhardt as he's swinging his hammer in the middle of three or four of them. Graviton Surge sucking them all up, and Snubuka gets a kill onto its Hex, but now he's gone down to Milo Gaming. They've got two left on the card here, and I think the Wild Ones are finally going to take it. Oh my god, but it's another Blizzard! Kill a kid! He's just doing so much delay here. But they need to stay on the card if they want it. They want to keep this going. They've, they've managed to finally cap the points, Xenox. That was a pretty, a pretty taxing on the Wild Ones. It was, but uh, a really good hold from Squid Pro. Quite, uh, you know, not a lot of teams hold... Dorado on that very first point, or at the fountain, or even that chokehold uh, under the steeple. Th two minutes and 22 seconds now for the Wild Ones. They're going to have to get really past this church area very quickly. They don't have a lot of time to hang around and, and get wiped over and over, as USMT takes down Javen already. Nicely done by Squid Pro Quo to get on top of this balcony on top of the church. Now they're going to jump down. Cobble Guy in a really good position to pop that Earth Shatter. He gets a couple. Now the Graviton Surge comes out to try and keep them out of the way. Milo Gaming just charges straight in, takes down Cobble Guy, but USMT gets a triple kill. He kills Shade. He kills Milo Gaming and Squid Pro Quo send them back to spawn with a minute and 48 seconds, Genome. Wow, so USMC getting so much help from his team there. He dropped down, he popped the dead eye. Uh, Milo Gaming kept his shield up, nullified that, but that didn't matter because he can do enough without his ultimate. He, uh, he just kept kept getting kills there. Um, and for some reason, they've pushed... Oh, uh, they're, they're getting the high ground here. The, the next 10 meters or so, it doesn't really matter for this payload. As long as it doesn't go through the arch, that's when the defending team might have to start uh, holding back in that courtyard area. So, till I'm getting a kill on Bifstar, and this might be uh, a good time for for the attackers to push in here, but another May old Xenox. So many are coming out from Killer Kid here. Yeah, and it just engulfs the whole area, especially in such a tight corridor for bay, such as out in the front of the church. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to move. USMC cleaning up its hex. Squid Pro Quo doing a really good job of following up on these early kills and completely wiping out the, re the rest of Wild Ones. But Wild Ones, they're just struggling to get the kills that they need. And so Talam looks like he's going to go into that Widowmaker, try and pick off one or two from up top so that when they jump down, they just won't have the numbers. Swift Willie does have his Reviver available. In fact, quite a lot of ultimates are going to be up for Squid Pro Quo. They are going to have about five out of six ultimates available. Javen, Shade, and Milo Gaming for Wild Ones all have their ultimates. They're going to have to be prof perfection with these ultimate choices. Sip, 25 seconds to go. The Earth Shatter coming out from Cobble Guy. It does land a couple of them, but the Transcendence is going to keep the rest of them alive. But it doesn't matter. Misanthrope, its hex are both down. Cobble Guy wow. with another triple kill as Talon takes him down, but it doesn't matter because the rest of his team are dead. It's a team wipe. Nine seconds to go. And really, a May Wall here will stop it anyway. So ex excellently executed by Squid Pro Quo. And uh, that's going to be there. Defensive hold, nicely done. So we're seeing lots of strong plays here from uh, from Squid Pro Quo. The the May wow, this is it's it's hard to to express how much stall 
ability you get with that blizzard. Uh, it just saved them, you know, 30 seconds, maybe four times in that map, and that really adds up when you're having when you're struggling to push the payload. AJ, what do you think of that game? Yeah, I also thought Cobble Guy had a good game. On he really combined well with his teammates to get a couple of triple gills. I think he got at least one in the courtyard and uh, one around the fountain and one here in front of the church. The switch to the Widowmaker at the end, a bit, a little bit too little too late. They really only got one push under the cover of that Widowmaker, and the Widowmaker didn't get any kills. So if they were going to try that, maybe should have tried it a little bit earlier. But great game again. I thought that I genuinely thought, as you guys did from the start, we were going to see a roll. Yeah, and Widowmaker is definitely one of those picks where, uh, I mean, I think it was a good decision for them to to go onto it because they didn't have an alt up, and Widowmaker is one of those characters that can make a big difference without her alt. If you get a couple of headshots in a row, you can completely turn the game around. Um, so I don't mind them going onto the Widowmaker, but as you say, if you're going to pick it, you got to hit the shots, don't you, Xenox? Just very quickly, guys, by the way, courtesy of Twitch, this is the Battle of the Communities. This is the Whirlpoolians versus the Server 76, guys. Community versus community. So it's uh, one for a bit of, I guess, uh, stake up for grabs, a little bit of rivalry, perhaps, genome. And uh, and it's going to be the Whirlpoolians, I guess, of Squid Pro Quo taking that first round with a very strong defensive hold. Now, though, they've got to push on through. And and one thing that can happen on this map is it can be really difficult to get through that first choke. I do not know what I just saw there from Milo <laughs> Gaming. I think uh, he's, <laughs> the charge button. he's got a little a bit of fat fingered there. I guess it's better than popping your ult extremely early. But geez, he's now well and truly out of position. They're going to have to fall back a little bit sooner than they would have liked. And, and his uh, team's is so exposed. And with USMC on the McCree there, you've got to be scared. Yeah, definitely. So they're going to push on through the choke. Oh, that Maywall is going to stop Squid Pro Quo from getting on through, but that doesn't matter because they're getting the kills. Cobble Guy finishes off Milo. You can charge back now from spawn if you'd like, because Killer Kid takes down Intex. So the Mooga takes down Mr. Rope. No revives coming out now, and this looks like it could be really over shortly with 3 minutes and 18 seconds. That they're already going to get this first point, Genome. Oh my, that main wall was fantastic. It split them up three and three. If they had all just pushed in and, and done what they should have done, it could have been a really, a really good defensive start. But no, Squid Pro Quo coming out with the fraggers and just taking them out so easily. And here they go into the second point. They don't have long to push here. Killer Kid getting on top on the Reaper. We have 5 minutes and 20 seconds to go. Killer Kid is able to kill Javen. They don't have far to push. Just a little bit past the church. Almost towards under that bridge as USNQ kills its Hex. And really now they're just swarming them. They're doing a really good job of getting that 1 or 2 kill. And then just continuing that pressure. Talami in the back line is going to pop that May ult it. It's going to engulf the entire point. It looks like it's going to freeze, uh, freeze 3 of them. But Killer Kid was getting kills all while that was happening. Talam gets a triple kill. Nicely done by Talam. Unfortunately, the rest of his team were in the grave uh, but nicely done to at least stall and stagger the rest of squid pro quo it's going to be cobble guy usmc and killer kid now on the point by themselves killer kid now popping around the back line he doesn't have his ultimate javen goes down to usmc as shade tries to get the start of the killer kid who pops the race form gets away the earth chat has got three of them nicely done by cobble guy here comes the nano boost the revive comes out early it's going to be the other one in my like gaming popping his earth shatter but it's killer kid with a double kill cobble guy in the back line swinging that hammer javen pops a desperate transcendence but with no one else alive for the wild ones they're going to the grave and it's squid pro quo who have got the point and they're gonna take round four with a win over the wild ones ej yeah absolutely and um do you think that was just from the start with the poor with the poor old early charge hey oh, well kill the kid on his <laughs> reaper there he he kept going he was using great use of his teleport he just kept getting up behind them and at one point i think we saw him drop down and he two-shotted the Zenyatta, okay? Two shots from the Reaper shotguns. That's, that's, no one else on your team has time to turn around and no. a, a, and help you with that. So he gets that, Wraith forms out straight away, plays it really safe, and then it's hard to, it's hard to win a fight 5v6 after that. Yeah, definitely. So nicely done by Squid Pro Quo, taking down the wild ones here. Four, they will move on to 2-2 two, two on the Zowie leaderboard. And unfortunately for the wild ones, they'll be one and three. As we have a look at the Zowie leaderboard, have a look at some of the other results. I do believe we are one of the first ones done. That was a pretty quick game though, AJ. 
<laughs> at least we're on time this week. You know, we, we're picking the quick games this week, everybody. Um, to the people who asked in Twitch, is that it? No, there is another round after this one. So we've got round five coming up after this one. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to see round five, and then we'll run through the full scoreboard after week one of Division Two. Um, Pretty exciting stuff. We don't have any other results in. Oh, I think they are just starting to come in now, uh, Xenox. Yep, the gods picking up a win versus... Oh, go the gods. So where does that put them? Oh, they were... Uh, yep, I guess that was the uh, that was the battle for the wooden spoon there. Spicy boys yeah, they and the gods both theory, on 0-3. Yeah, so, yeah, the gods get in the win over Spicy Boys DX. Still, obviously, a lot of results to come in. Uh, guys, it was a good game on stream, but I think it'll be best to take it to a break here as we could be waiting for quite a while. Uh, we can all go and watch Crisis open some loot boxes. So we had a look at the Zao leaderboard. We'll come back when the results are in. Round five is generated, and we can then discuss the next game that is coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with round five of the Division Two Games to Spring series. <laughs> 